there, Virgo. How are you? It's your force fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, Virgo, what's going on? It's about the Volary of Virgos. Let's take a look. Virgo, I'm going to start you off with the Oracle card. These are messages from the guides. So this covers all the guides. Yours, mine, the collective guides, the ones taking care of us as we lead the collective into the light. Virgo, I know you're doing all the work. I know you are. Don't relinquish your power, Virgo. Look at that one. It came popping out. Don't relinquish your power. That's a, that's a Virgo message if I've ever seen one. Don't relinquish your power. Hmm. Let's get some tarot on that message and get a full spread out. I'll start with the 10 card spread with my main deck, which is the Game of Life deck. I love this deck. It's game of life and how to play it. So, Virgo, why are don't it's your message is clear. Do not, don't relinquish your power. Virgo is a power as a powerhouse. I mean, it's a powerhouse sign. Zodiac sign. It's it's I analyze. You look at all. Yeah, Virgo. You look at all the details. You look at all the details. High Priestess. Do I take these? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, there's more than ten. If it was ten exactly, I'd lay them all out. Virgo. Listen to your intuition. That that high priestess showed up for a reason. Listen to your intuition. Listen to, don't relinquish your power. That's, that's a powerful message. It is. Especially when it comes to Virgo. So, give me messages that Virgo means right there. Wake up, Virgo. Wake up. Wake up to how much work you do, how much effort you put in how much you're worth and do not relinquish your power that crosses you eight of pentacles watch me work you're they're overworking you and not paying you enough virgo yep you need to communicate this with the eight of wands we got the eight of pentacles crossing you with the eight of wands focus and foundation the world or you will go elsewhere and you are worth Look, don't relinquish your power. You are worth more than you are giving yourself credit for, it, Virgo, and all over the world. In the past, in decision way, having to make a tough decision in the future. Page of Cups. The development of affection and creative energy. This is fresh new ways of what? Dealing with indecision? Hmm. How you see yourself? Oh, you must have a loving partner, community, whether it be partners, friendships, um, family members that are real soulmates to you, that really feel, you feel connected to, and other people see you. Look at you, that's Virgo energy. Nine of Pentacles. Your hope and your fear. Taking a loss. Hmm. And the outcome. Look at you, Virgo. You know your magic. Of course you do. Look at that. The outcome. The magician. You can make things happen. You know this. So do not give up your power. That which you might not see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Virgo, are you realizing? Are you seeing? Are you waking up to the fact that you are the captain of your own ship? Of your own soul, so to speak. Beautiful. Take that wheel. Beautiful. Make things happen. Beautiful. Virgo. Let's go deeper. Let's get some more information. 
on this on this 10 card spread let's go deeper why well you know what i'm just gonna ask what is virgo waking up to right there success listen virgo you are waking up to your successes you are waking up to that which you bring to the table and yet you're disappointed other people are not disappointed in you. They see you as the Nine of Pentacles. You are disappointed. And so, being right beside this Page of Cups, I'm seeing that you are waking up to your successes and waking up to the fact that you don't see them, waking up to the fact that you don't give your own yourself your own credit. Now, I do have to say this, Virgo, that when you don't give yourself the credit, I know, sometimes Leos and that Leo energy of being proud and having uh, this, for some, overinflated ego, but it's a pride thing. It's being very proud of what you can do, what you bring to the table. And that can sometimes annoy you, Virgo. Like, there's no need to do that. Just do the job and be quiet. I get it. I really, really do. But when you're waking up to your successes and what you bring to your company, to your team, to um, your job, that's when you need to really step into it and don't, because it's from within that you're relinquishing your power. Oh, that's not that good. Oh, someone gives you a compliment. Oh, wow. Well. And you don't accept it. You don't go, thank you. I agree. I am awesome. Yes says Virgo. So this little page of cups right beside this card I'm seeing and we'll, and we'll clarify. This is the development of affection and creative energy for yourself. As I see this full beautiful cup of love in your head above you in your higher self coming from your crown, you're holding on to losses. You're holding on to what didn't work. You're holding on to empty cups. Now Virgo, you're waking up to the fact that this is, I'm kind of, when I don't see my, my worth, when I don't see my power, I'm kind of giving it away. Eight of Wands. Ooh, 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 I love this energy. The King of Swords. This is truth, fairness, clarity. This is also clever. This is Aquarius energy. And Aquarius energy, they are very knowledgeable souls. Aquarius is. And when they come materialize into this earth, when they are uploaded into this simulation, so to speak, or downloaded, whatever, however you want to look at it. I love Aquarius clever conversation. And what you're doing is that you are speaking the facts, you have all your receipts, Virgo. You are doing it in a creative way so that it doesn't set people off. And this is what your higher self is saying. When you communicate, do it very straightforward, very simply, because if you have any Aquarius in your chart, major placements, whatever, um, you can set people off. You're a know-it-all. You think you know everything, Virgo, right? And it's the way you communicate that your higher self is advising. Yeah, putting an end, because this is the same face, the same figure, putting an end to those negative thoughts that are making, and this is the Four of Cups, that are making you feel rejected, but it's rejected by your own thoughts. It's rejected by your own high standards. I'm not saying don't have high standards, Virgo, by all means. But when you have successes, acknowledge them. Leo style. I want you to take on Leo. Leo style. Like, yes, that was the best win ever. Yes, that was the best, um, like, I got that client. Yep, I got that project. Yep, I got that job, that project, whatever it is. Wake up to your successes. Keep track of those. The, those are receipts too. Don't, don't dismiss them. Don't minimize them really look at the truth at how many wins that you've brought to your company, to your uh, team, really take a look at it and end this um, sort of, I don't want to say false modesty, but it kind of is when, when, you know, when you don't see your victory. Now, what's coming to an end? We're focused on foundation. You don't feel you're getting paid enough. 
Ergo. And ooh, 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 I'm going to put this right underneath here. And this is the contract queen. This is the contract queen. And when I see the six of wands, victory, Leo energy in between these two, that both the king and the queen of swords, I think what's coming to an end is your um, four of cups, dis emotionally dismissing your successes and your lack of mentality. That's what's ending. Your higher self is saying end it, Virgo. Two of swords, indecision way. This is the past. Ho, 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 ending it. You have been going back and forth on, uh, for some of you, changing your location, moving, ending a job, um, working with, a, a, and you're afraid of taking the loss. Interesting. That's what the five of swords. Oh, Virgo. I almost want to tell you to take that leap of faith that you are the master manifester, that whatever you think about, you bring about. So if you're thinking loss, that's what, if you're thinking, oh, if I bring them all the receipts and all the successes I've had, they're just going to shut me down. Well, that's exactly what you're manifesting. If you take that Leo approach, and I'm just going to say the Leo approach of I cannot, it's a win-win. I cannot lose with this. I'm going to present them with all of my facts, present them with all of my wins. And if they can't see it, I'm walking because someone will. That's what I see, Virgo. Now, this little page of cups, you're in the future, you're, you're considering, how do I communicate? Maybe with all these swords, with all these facts, maybe I got, I got to change my approach. You have got to make a decision. Which way are you going to go? The path that you've been down this whole time or a brand new path? And you're in your head about it. The veil is still on, I see, Virgo. The veil is still on because you haven't made a decision with path you're going and you're having difficulties with the indecision way. You're bringing it into your future. You could be doing something, let's say, with all these swords, very, whether it be you're in um, academia, you could be in law, you could be in business, uh, you could be in stocks trading, this type of, all mental, right? A lot of mental. You could be considering something more creative, just saying. Two of Cups is how you see yourself. Oh, sweet. There you are. The King of Pentacles. This is Taurus. You could be with a Taurus. And there you are, a Virgo. So you have a strong, male or female does not matter. I'm feeling the kings are our masculine energy, right? So you have a really, for all you fem, feminines out there, you have a really strong, grounded energy at home. Um, they light you up. Do you see how his pentacle, that's who he is. That's his soul. That's He's growing a home with you. And, and when you get dark, because you can, Virgo, he lights you up. Just saying. Uh, these are also for when I'm talking business, these are contracts. So finding those Taurus investors, there's, there's beautiful Taurus investors, male or female, does not matter. Finding those um, builders, I'm just saying builders, because they build wealth, they build material, whether it be through land, through stocks, through bonds, whatever. And this is how you see yourself. That you're also, also, you're taking on this king, king of pentacles. You know your worth. This is Taurus energy, knowing your worth, getting out of that um, energy of, of lack, of loss, of lack, of have not. You're getting with this four of swords. You're meditating. You're thinking, not overthinking, but you're meditating into and getting, and I'm going to put this, pull the magician right above it. You're manifesting your own wealth. You're manifesting your material um, abundance. You're manifesting your own self-worth by not relinquishing your power. And other people see you as already doing this. If you don't see it, look at you. For some of you, they see you starting out on your own and, and growing, birthing something new. For some of you, you're pregnant. Other people see it before you see it. And there's that darkness. Again, the Five of Cups. we got the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Five of Swords. You're going through a real major change. With, five, with three fives all on the table, you're going through major changes here, Virgo. Oh, I got the Five of Swords twice. I just noticed. Um, 
yeah, you're going through some major, major changes. For some of you, it's becoming a mother. And you, for some of you, you didn't expect it. For some of you, you're going deep within. Can I do this? Am I going to be a good mother? So I like my independence, my singlehood. What does this mean? Like, there's, that's for some of you. Now, for others of you, this is birthing of a new company, a new idea, a new concept, a new, uh, let's say, a new app that you are second guessing, that you don't believe in. And again, what you think about, you bring about with this magician here. The veil is very thin, Virgo. And I, I, we'll see when we get to the magician, to the magician, your hope and your fear, King of Cups. The King of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. That's a hope and or fear. You're taking a look at your losses in a very emotionally mature way. You're taking a look at how you might have gone to extremes, extreme depression, extreme disappointment, because the Five of Cups is emotional disappointment. The Five of Pentacles is uh, financial hardship and of course the five of swords is mental anguish and so your hope is that with every loss with every five of swords that you are not hard on yourself that you do not relinquish your power that you see your wins that you see what you've created with others that are on your on the same page and so what are you manifesting new work opportunities I'm seeing it new work opportunities that are more, I'm going to put it right above that page of cups, that are more creative. Oh, and you're waking up to it. Look at that. I love it when that happens. The first card out, the judgment. The last card out, the judgment. You're waking up to your magic. You're waking up to your abilities. What can you do? If someone's not willing to pay you or, or value the way you value yourself, Virgo, what are you going to do? You're going to manifest something brand new. Look at that. Wheel of Fortune. Look at that, the Hierophant. I love this Hierophant because I've got, yes, the feminine with the moon, masculine with the sun. But I see this as going from dark to light to going from this five of swords, five of pentacles, five of cups, five of swords twice into the light of the world twice, the judgment twice, the magician. Wow. Empress, you're creating something new. You're birthing something new. This is a lot of work. Empress, Empress doesn't get the clout as far as how much work it takes to get to Empress status. Like it's, it's not like, uh, and again, a lot of readers, oh, she sits around and she, no, that Empress is working. That Empress has mastered the Queen of Swords, has mastered the Queen of Cups, has mastered the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, come on now, all four elements into and that's how other people see you. They see you as the Empress, which is right above the Hermit, which is your card. And then the emotional maturity of the King of Cups to move forward, to, to sort of let the losses, learn from your losses, pass through you, and not get stuck into this Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords energy. That's, that's right then and there. Is, I'm seeing it. You're going through the fives, you're going through changes, and not relinquishing your power. Beautiful Virgo, I'm so proud of you. 102, let's do it. Let's get some angel numbers on this. 102, Virgo. 102, take time to know that the stronger your relationship with yourself, yes, the stronger your connections will be with God, angels, and others. Absolutely. I see 220 and then 221. Let's do both. 220, show up for yourself show up for the world and you've got the world twice Virgo next one 221 you are being guided by your angels to face the darkest aspects of your life five of swords five of pentacles and five of cups absolutely and look how dark the hermit is face it face the darkest aspects of your life in order to bring more light to your current situation and the world you've got the world twice and you just had two messages with mentioning the world I see 881. 
Let's go there. Eight, eight, one. Eight, eight, one. You are being encouraged to take an inventory of how far you've come. Yes, see all your successes. We talked about the beginning of the read. Before you proceed further, patience is key at this time. That's good advice, Virgo. And last one, let's do 295. Last one, Virgo, 295. There are divine downloads within you that you need to open in order to move forward on your path. And that could very well be creating another job, a new industry that has more to do with creativity. When I see all these swords, this the swords are all thoughts. This is creative. What are you creating? With the Empress here, Virgo, my question is, what are you creating? And that's what I see for you. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your forest fairy. Bye for now.